last video, we modified our insert statement to use variables. It's a little more secure and more efficient to actually use a prepared statement in this situation. So I'm going to show you the code to do that. We're going to replace um, all of the execute query stuff. And we're going to create this prepared statement object on the connection. And basically you're going to use the field names or the, the column names from the, from the table. And then for the values, you're going to put question marks. And then to fill in the question marks, you're going to do set strings, if it's a string or a bar char. And we're going to do set int for the integer. And we'll just change this to a four just to make sure that this is actually inserting. And then you do the execute update method on the prepared statement object. Run this, it should say attempting insert and insert successful, which it did. And if I look at my table, I should see my 